Hey everyone, welcome. Wednesday morning. Doing a side job for my brother. Fix another people's stuff. They're trying to get this rental property ready to rent. And uh Okay, they're not a trim carpenter, let's just say that. We got issues. So they tried to put this door trim in, and they got the paneling past the door trim. I don't know if you can see that, and like that sticking all over, and I pulled the trim off. I mean, yeah, well, they tried. I got my saw set up here. Yeah, so I gotta try that. This door's too tall course so I'm gonna cut the bottom of it off bottom of the jams bottom of the door make it fit lath and plaster going we covered this with a piece of paneling which isn't gonna sit flat for the trim it's just everything all around is like I already got this basin it looks pretty good we got the basin and here we're working on that we got up to here so yeah it's uh kind of messed up so that's what we got going today we're gonna try getting this door in here i'm gonna have to rip some extension jams and get it all in there and yeah we got somebody else did the flooring he fired them can't have that kind of stuff going on kind of like that all over in here. Everything is just kind of pieced together and half-assed. Hey, that's why I get to charge more, fix other people's shit. All right, uh, stay tuned. I'll uh, get back to you when I get this door in eventually, today or who knows, tomorrow. All right, projects, projects. Okay, fill out, back in a bit. Stay tuned. There we are, we're back again. Still working on this door, that's kinda, I just gotta walk away from that for a minute. So we're putting some base trim down at the bottom of these stairs. Down there. We got the old base in from 1852. Probably 1885 actually. And it's up, I put it where would go where it was when they pulled it off so that leaves that three uh probably half inch gap on the bottom so i found this quarter round laying here it's got splits cracks in it i think i can make it work we're in minnesota so it's quite the ways to go back to the town just to buy some trim which i'm just trying to use whatever they got laying around here <clears throat> piles of stuff we got to do this room too but yeah, like I said, this is a client of my brother's. My brother did the carpet and stuff here, and I'm just kind of helping him out. Picking up a little extra cash, you know. Got to stay working. But um, yeah. So we're going to throw this quarter round down and maybe get that area done. I'm just trying to get one room done at a time as I go. But every time I go into a room, there's more things. Stuff like this. I showed that, but... The fun part's going to be trimming that door down. I hate doing that. I can do it, but it's a, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. Anyway, we're doing good. Okay, that's it for now. Updates. Uh, updates for now. We're going to shoot this trim on. Back in a bit. All right, here we are. We got this door hung finally. Looks pretty good. I just used the old trim they had here. They must have used a half a tube of silicone on some of these boards. I mean, I don't know what they were trying to do. They had their kids playing with it or what? There she goes. The wind keeps blowing it open. Oh, I suppose I could hold it with my hammer. We got quite a breeze going through here today. There we go. I got this side trimmed out. Caulk and paint fixes everything. There'll be a lot of caulking and painting in here. 
Now I gotta work on this piece of trim and finish up this tiny little strip of flooring they couldn't get in. Lath and plaster, baby. Fun stuff. Yeah, I think the homeowner, well, the landlord, the rental property, he's been doing some work up here, but look at all these nails. Look at the nails. Can you see that? There's nails every three inches. You couldn't figure out how to shim the bottom out, I guess. You know, people are trying. They can't get help, so you gotta do it yourself, and you gotta learn the hard way sometimes, but, you know, that's why we're here. Squeezed this in between my other jobs, my regular job, my part-time job, my other stuff. So yeah, now we gotta, I gotta get my brother's table saw here tomorrow. We gotta put extension, extension jams on this side. About two inch extension jam all the way around. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. The door's in there square, straight and level. So yeah, all right. Keep moving, keep it working. All right. Back in a bit. Hey, Phil here, back again. Back the next day. Oh, we got this door finished up as far as the trim work. Had to put some extension jams on it. Those are always fun. So, yeah. It's tricky when the wall is thicker. It's about a half to three quarters inch thicker here than it is here. So this top one you have to taper down on the table saw, shave it and feather it and get her to fit. And you always get one nail that's gonna blow out when you're putting an extension jam in every single time. And that was the one there, so a little sanding. Once they caulk and paint all this, you won't notice it. I also did the door down there, extension jams, same thing, one nail blew out. Every time, every time I do a door, every time, it, no matter how you, it hits a knot or something, it just never fails. There's always, sometimes you get lucky, but 90% of the time there's always one nail that's gonna blow out the frickin' trim. So just playing on it, but easily repairable when it's paintable stuff. The stained stuff, it's, you gotta, good luck, you know, sometimes you can fix it, but. We got the baseboard down in here, I got that piece of trim fixed, got a mess going on. So yeah, we got some stuff done, I'm not sure how much he's, this homeowner or landlord property owner is gonna have me do, but, and there goes the compressor, perfect timing, yay. All right, well that's gonna do it. There's a lot of odds and ends going on here. I'm so glad that compressor kicked on. It's perfect. All right, well, hey, thank you, compressor. That wasn't even being used. Anywho, I might be back again to help them finish up some stuff. I don't know, but that's gonna do it for this video. Just a short one. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Fill out. Bye.